I know what you wanted. To use your power as Dragonborn to bend the world to your will. <laughs> here then is the Hey Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Go right ahead. I Thank have you. to occupy me for the moment. I'm sure you do. Now the moment is at hand. Oh good, be sure to say hello to her mayor's daughter for me. So, this is her mayor's Mora's realm. Chan. The Agma in Fame was only the beginning. This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Say to your thirst for knowledge in the endless stacks of my life. If you tire of the search, read your book again to return to your mortal life. For a time, the lure of Apocrypha will call you back. It is your fate. Are you finished? Thank you. I have work to do. Let's see if I can figure out this confusing realm. No better than to... Whoops! Oh! No better than to dip into this lake, this murk, this ick. So, what happens now? Well, I don't know when. Maybe I should wait and see if there's something... Oh, there is a... Oh, and a book. All oh, right. This must be my goal. Chapter 2. I must say, this realm is quite amazing in how it tries to disorient the visitor. So let's activate the scry. Now, I've seen these fish heads before. I think these were in Mirax Temple. Hmm, there's something over there. to do better than that, Seekers. And Lurker.
A ring of wealth? Well, why not? Wealth can sometimes be in such a short supply. Aha! And wait, so that door opened, but... Chapter 1... Chapter 3... I suppose I should continue with the increments in the chapters. It looks like it might be up this way. Oh. As if you could hurt me. <laughs> Let's see, do you have anything? Nothing I'm concerned with. No, it looks like I just missed the the portal. Oh, and look, a giant lurker. No match. No match whatsoever for my power. Someone's behind me as well. Hmm, I did take some damage. They are... at least... scratching the surface of my... ability. Is this phantom armor? I'll take the... The gold, the septums. Let's try something else. Oh, I forgot about this frozen orb. <laughs> Effective. Hmm. 
Here we are, chapter four. I'm surprised a tentacle didn't come up and slap me. Alright, I suppose that will do for now. Could this be my goal? You really should have tried harder, Emmaus. This was too easy. Here we are, epistolary acumen. Well done, my champion. Your journey towards enlightenment has finally led you here to my realm, as I knew it would. And what do you want this time? You have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other You are dragonborn, like Mirak before you, a seeker of knowledge and power. You're not wrong. Yes, I did come here to learn Mirak's secrets. From me. I know what you wanted. To use your power as dragonborn to bend the world to your will. <laughs> Here then is the knowledge you need, although you are so clever. I did not know you needed it. Oh. Is that so? The second word what? of power. You yes, to bend the I feel it. Of mortals to your purpose. Excellent. It's just the power that I was but looking this for. This is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass me. Oh, I've already surpassed him. Mirak served me well, and he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has its price. Of course it does. And what is your price? for the final word of power. Knowledge for knowledge. Seems fair. The Scar have withheld their secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library. <laughs> I see. Then I will talk to the Skull and bring you their secrets. I know you will. <laughs> I will give you the knowledge that you seek. Very well. Send the Skull. I'll hold you to that. To me. He holds the secrets that will be mine.
<laughs> Be gone. <laughs> You're playing with an amateur. Your power will be mine in totality. I'll take it bits and pieces at a time, but soon you will be no more. All right. Hmm, I think I want the Dragonborn Force. My unrelenting force shout does more damage and may disintegrate. Disintegrate my enemies. <laughs> of course, more power. Excellent. Now it's time to return to Solstein. What happened? What did you see? Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. Well, several things happened. But most importantly, I learned the second word of the Bend Will shout. No wonder the Dwemer was so interested in that book. It was indeed one that Mirak used to advance his power as Dragonborn. But I assume there's some bad news. It would be unlike a mayor's mora to allow anyone to gain such knowledge without exacting a price. <laughs> Nayloth, you know this game so well. He wants the secrets of the skull in exchange for teaching me the third word of power. Ah, what secrets could they have worth keeping from old mora? Sounds <laughs> like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Well, <laughs> that gives me a lot to think about. I need to get back to tell Mithra. I have some ideas about how to locate more of these black books. Very well then. You're dismissed. <laughs> My faithful companion's still here. All right, we need to go to the Skull Village and talk with Storm. Well, what's going on? A dragon, really? I have some ideas about how to look at all right, you all keep him busy. Try the astral flare. <laughs> I have to say, it's one of my favorite attacks. That's just not my well. Thank you. Oh, really? You're doing this again, are you? <laughs> Very well, Mirak. I will remember this. <laughs> it's going to be one step closer to your demise. How dare he? What does this do? Increase my my restoration level. I'll take it. Iron Mace of Dawn scorches the undead for 16 points of damage. Hmm, I don't know that enchantment. Naloth probably has an enchanter in his uh lair. Probably have to learn it there. All right, you are 
headed to the Skull Village before we were rudely interrupted. All right, we're back. I don't get people's love for sweet rolls. It's just you dry bread with some sugary glaze on top. Winters? It makes my heart heavy that you don't believe me, Fenari. Baldor could be in danger, and you will do nothing. If you won't help me, then I'll ask the Allmaker to send someone else who can. Pray, huh? Storm? So the dragons have returned. Well, the Skull have survived worse. I spoke to Hermaeus Mora, and he's asked for the secrets of the Skull. Hermaeus Mora. Old Hermamora himself. So he is the source of Nirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Herma Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. Just what are the secrets of the Skull? Ah, ancient lore handed down from shaman to shaman since the All Maker first gave source time to the skull. How to talk to the wind, how to listen to the earth. These are our secrets. Nothing of power or mastery. And why would Hermaeus Mora want your secrets? We know him as Hermamora, the demon of knowledge. It is in his nature to hoard secrets to himself. Their value to him is of no consequence. The very fact that the Skull have kept knowledge from him has merely increased his desire to have it. He said the only way he'll teach me the final word of Mirak's shout. He said it's the only way he'll teach me the final word of Mirak's shout. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. With Mirak's corruption of the stones, the oneness of the land is disrupted, and our connection to the All Maker is broken. Then I will restore the remaining stones, if that will help. It may. It should. And I will think on what you ask of me to decide if it is necessary or just another of Hermamora's tricks. Well, it's time for us to cleanse the remaining stones. All right, here it is, the Beast Stone. Oh, and look who's down here. It looks like a cultist. What was that? Nice. Oh, running, are you? I just started having fun. Yes, really, and Mirak didn't even save you. Do you have anything on you that's worthwhile? Hmm, not really. All right, let's see. Let's use this shout and see what happens. Goal! Oh, another lurker. Imagine that, get it. It's over. Curse us! Oh, look, this, this poor weakling was killed. 
And what do you want? I think. I think. I'm sorry, I don't speak that language. Now, excuse me. All right, we have more stones that we need to cleanse. All right, the earth stone. It's the one of the first stones we visited. Get ready. Zelzaz. They are finished. What was that? Hmm, take up to 15% less damage. Now look, there's another one down here. Excellent. All right, I think the water stone will be the last on our list. Let's go. Oh, what? Bandits? <laughs> really? You would even presume to attack me. Let's keep going. Something here. What's going on? Getting closer. Oh, what? Another cultist. <laughs> I know. I appreciate he at least put up a shield that deflected my attack. All right, let's get ready. Go! somewhere. Try 
to steal the soul from its rightful owner. What does this do? Increases two-handed. As if you if you don't mind, it's time for us to get back to the Skull Village. All right. Storm. So the dragons have returned. Well, the Skull have survived worse. Are you ready to trade your secrets to Hermaeus Mora? The tree stone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. Well, the tree stone wasn't on my list. So, you will give him what he wants? Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Herma Mora finally wins. As Shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets, but also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. Good. You do that. Here. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil. Against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Mirak's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the Old Maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father. As always. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. All right then. Begin. Oh. The skull yield <laughs> up their secrets <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't struggle, Storm. Father! No, stop! I... I won't! I won't! Not... For you! <laughs> That's it. Do something! Oh, I'm doing something. <laughs> oh, you have delivered me. The gift I request. Mm, if only you knew what was truly happening. No! Still on. A prince of oblivion. I give you the word. Of power. Excellent. You are a creature of your word. You will be either a worthy opponent or his mm, successor as the tides of fate. Hmm. Father! Excellent. What have you done? And now, I have even Go. more of Hermia's My... power. 
father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then, kill Mirak. Do not fail. <laughs> Your father didn't sacrifice himself for Mirak. He sacrificed himself for me and the secrets that he gave Hermaeus Mora. What? I can't steal them. Hmm. Well, seems like I've been thwarted. All right then. I'll have to destroy Hermaeus personally. All right, let's Goodbye, move out. Old friend. We will miss you, but do not worry. Freya will guide us well, thanks to you. It's time for me to... I don't think to... I'm ever going to get used to all this snowing. It is time for me to get closer... We won't forget what you ...to finding... Mirak. Ooh, hoo, 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 ha, ha, ha.